coming at you live for another remodeling update. Apologies in advance. It is super loud because we are still in a construction zone here at Ryan's house. But we have some lessons learned that we wanted to share with you, especially Ryan. He's got some really good pointers and tips that he wanted to share. Um, just kind of learning in the process of doing all of this fun stuff. So here we go. What's up guys? <laughs> uh, Mike Lawrence said sorry, it's super loud. Hopefully you can hear me. It's uh, we're getting our wood floors sanded right now upstairs and vacuumed. It's super loud up there, so things are coming along. It's awesome. But I want to give you a couple tips that we had learned along the way. Uh, my girlfriend and I have been doing a lot of painting down here. We actually had a painter come in and do some himself, and he taught us some things as well. Um, it's definitely a learning process. I will say that if you have any wood paneling, it might take you twice as long. <laughs> it's something we learned about. Uh, it's just really hard to get in the grooves and kind of get it all done, but definitely worth it. It looks a lot better down here than it used to with those beige colors of what it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I wanted to point out though, I'll Lauren kind of pan over here. So this is an old house. It's a 1953 house. And when you have that, you have a lot of moving things throughout the years, things get out of place and out of line. Um, so the trim actually was kind of receding from the ceiling and from the rest of the trim. Um, you can kind of see if you come really close up here, Lauren, you can see where there's a little bit of gapping. Hopefully you can see that on the live here mm -hmm. on the video. And this is actually something that we need to still remedy. But what our contractor, our painter had taught us is a very simple fix for this. This was pretty much going on everywhere down here, even in this back bedroom. And something he says, a very simple fix, you take a caulking gun, get the same kind of color as what you're gonna be using. So you can do a clear caulk or you can do a white caulk. For us, because everything's white, we use white. So he ended up going around and we did a little bit too. And you pretty much, it takes five minutes to do a huge room like this. Because you go along with the caulking gun and then you pretty much take your finger and go over all these seams and smooth it out, the difference is insane. I mean, it really it really brought things up to date. Um, you can't really tell how old the house is anymore. And honestly, it's like the biggest change down here, aside from how beautiful the paint is, it makes a big difference. And actually, Lauren, if you came back here, um, light on, you can see some of the gapping back there. That's kind of what it used to look like. Uh, but when you get it all flush in one you know, solid piece, it looks so much better. It's like a new house again. Uh, so that's a big tip. He also pointed out, you know, we were looking at Hirschfields for paint. We ended up going with a Regal brand from Hirschfields. Uh, he recommended looking at Sherwin-Williams. If you do something like Sherwin or at Home Depot or Lowe's, you're going to save a lot of money on paint. And he said actually the quality that he prefers is at Sherwin-Williams. Um, so I think for each canister, it's probably going to go down 15 or 20 bucks, which we went through a lot of canisters, so it'll save you hundreds over mm -hmm. the whole course of doing, you know, a downstairs project like this. Uh, so do your research on paints, but I would definitely recommend doing something a little bit less than Hirschfields. It's, it's an expensive place. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we want to go over here? I think uh, the last thing Check I out. wanted to point out, which it's so loud upstairs, we're not going to go up there, but um, the, the painter also pointed out that, you know, we, we had originally wanted to get all the painting done first and then do the stand after. It just would have allowed us to get into our house a little bit quicker and move in because you've got all these moving parts, kind of want to do it all at the same time. The only issue with that is the stain guys actually want you to have the painters come in after them because what will happen is when you're staining the floors, it's going to bounce up on the trim, it's going to get on your lower walls, especially if you have white walls, which we're going to have upstairs too. Uh, so one last recommendation is definitely wait to do the staining on the floors, uh, or I'm sorry, wait, wait to paint until you have the, the stain done. You don't want to have, you know, weird brown colors all speckled along, you have to go repaint and everything, that'll just cost you more time and more money. So, mm -hmm. we're good. coming along here, yeah. Yeah, it looks so good. As you may remember, um, down here was red, everything was red. Yep. So this was all red, it was kind of like a barn color. So Ryan and Riley decided to paint all of this that uh, raccoon fur color, which is still hilarious, but that's what color it is, and they did the same in this guest bedroom and I don't have the lights on but um, you can see kind of the finished product and they did the same thing in here with some of the um, finishes so you can kind of see how even this looks now that's just the caulking gun and it's awesome it's such a great tip I'll be doing it in my own home um, and it's really it adds I mean it, it looks brand new it looks like you have new crown molding or new baseboards everywhere so good tips for you thank you so much for joining we'll have all this on our YouTube channel and a lot more coming soon so have a good day